it's the one we're all thinking about. It's 1960-61 West Indies in Australia, surely. Mm. 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 Well played. <laughs> Debatable declarations. The accusations on the ball. Sometimes it was dead, was it not? Sometimes it was changed. Should it have been? Uh, all sorts of incidents, eventful, which makes us ask the question, of course, a fitting finale which stood broad's fairy tale. How good was this series? Was this the best series ever? It probably wasn't even the best Ashes ever. But let's put that question to Andrew McGlashan, Alan Gardner, Osman Samuddin and George Benoit as we ask the question that will be asked at the end of time. Was Ashes 2023 the series of cricket? Let's go. Osman. Uh, I don't think it was the best Ashes series I've ever seen actually, let alone the best series ever. It was... And I'm being very old and like pooping this party badly. It was a great, great series, but for some reason, and maybe it's because mostly because it was I was younger, uh, I, I, I find like the 2005 series populated as it was by like just great characters and great cricketers. Like that Australian team in 2005 was yeah. indisputably one of the greatest teams of all time. England had Marcus Truscothic, probably their best team. I think it's the it's the most fun England team I've actually seen, even including for basketball. So. I don't think it was the best, best Ashes series, let alone the best series ever, but I will say that it was definitely a great series. I, I think there's zero doubt about that. Right. Yeah, we, 2005 will obviously come in. I went you out of respect, Osman, thinking you're the only one alive when uh, Botham's Ashes actually took place. So maybe, yeah. you know, you, you, I, I, you know, I was a teenager then. Nasher, Nasher, man who follows England cricket, but from Australia these days, no one can have a more objective view on this. <laughs> oh, um, yeah, I mean, I think I come down on the same side of it as Osman, really. Um, certainly the best Test Series played in the last two months. Um, I think we can give it that title. I think Osman's point about um, 2005 is right. I think overall the quality of cricket in 2005, I think, was a, a touch higher. Um, and it were, and kind of both sides made that a great series. I think actually yeah. the, great, the greatness of this series... Um, and this will no doubt send Twitter into a meltdown, came, came from England, basically. They played, even when they were losing, England played a lot of the cricket in that series. Now, they didn't play it perfectly, and that's why they lost the first two games. I think I think 05 nicks it for quality. This, this, I, I, this was the most fun series I think I've ever, uh, per, from personal view, and I obviously don't go as far back as Osman does. I thought this series was just fun. Whatever was happening, really was fun and that's a very very important thing I think actually in the context of the test cricket as it is now and the wider game quality wise it, it didn't match one or two others not just 2005 but one or two other test series over that time as well the beauty of the narrative of baseball is even when you lose you can pretend like you've won right and that's what <laughs> it's, it, 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 it's morally the best ashes of all time and best two test series morally. of all time yeah morally. Yes, yes, the, the morality question. I'm not going to go there. It's clearly the greatest Ashes, sorry, the greatest Test series since Basball reinvented cricket. So, uh, and, and given that is where... more and more brackets now. Wait, let me make note of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and since that is now the, the sort of where history begins again. Never mind 2005. Wait, can never I, mind can I just interject and say... That even in the basketball era, probably the England New Zealand two test series before this was probably a better series. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that was that. I mean, this was a really fun series. Uh, like like Nasha says, you had um, Ben Stokes being photoshopped as a baby uh, onto the back pages of uh, the Australian newspapers, and then tweeting about it to object that um, what was wrong with it was was the fact that he wouldn't take the new ball. And then obviously ended with Ben Stokes tweeting a clarification about um, the snubbing of Australia's players for, for post-series drinks. Uh, they actually all met up in the nightclub, so, you know, all was well. Um, in between, you had Alex Carey's haircut gate. Um, yeah, you had the, the, the ball change stuff, the Stokes' big declaration energy at, at every turn. Um, and basball, basball, basball. So yeah, I mean, uh, I'm not I'm not going to bring uh, bring about the great comeback um, from you know two 0 down. I don't think, other than to to try and add the caveat that um, you know history begins from here 
onwards. Um, otherwise, it's 2005, it's 1981. It's the one we're all thinking about. It's 1960-61 West Indies in Australia, surely. Mm. 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 Well played. <laughs> so I think it was the most competitive series I've watched in a long, long time. You know, like every test which had a result being decided by about 50 runs or three wickets, you know. Almost every session, every day was really hard fought. Uh, what this series lacked for me was these dominating individual performances, like how, mm. you know, 2005 had Flintoff and Vaughan who loomed large over there. I was thoroughly entertained watching every day of it, uh, like in the way I was entertained watching Money Heist. But then, you know, six months down the line, I might not remember all the details as much, you know. Is it the best series of all time? I, I think India tour of Australia in 2021 was possibly better than this one. All I'll add about this series, and it's a slightly arbitrary way to, to look at it, but under the kind of what's accepted as a narrow victory in Test cricket, which is three wickets or fewer and 50 runs or fewer, first time there's ever been four of those. Yeah in a series. So if we're talking about greatness being linked to how tight the games were, this does have a good standing mm. to be up there yeah. amongst the very best. Um, so purely looking at the margins of the results um, and how little there was to separate the teams, um, that clearly puts this series on a, on a certain pedestal. Mm. If it hadn't yeah. rained in Manchester, it might have been the greatest series of all time. Yeah, yeah we certainly the greatest comeback. <laughs> Every generation at times needs a series like this. And pe there are people born after the 2005 Ashes that are now adults when the 2023 Ashes have actually happened. They needed this series at a time where Test cricket must be saved. And of course, England must be the ones to save it. So we leave it there. Thank you very much to Andrew McGlashan, Alan Gardner, Osman Samuddin, George Benoit. That is where we stand on where the Ashes 2023 stood.